Okay, um, yeah. I'm going to do a video on the zombies storyline. Um, uh, there you go, that's me. Um, so you can stop looking at my floor. Uh, and no, I'm not very professional. Who would have guessed, right? But anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to write out what I think where all the maps are and stuff. Yeah, uh, this will probably go out really badly, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying, so... Okay, here's my piece of paper. Let's, uh, carry this more... less awkwardly. Uh, okay. So... So we got the first map as far as we know, right? So we got... Let me just write that. Right, we got notched, right? There. Uh, notched. Okay, there's two possibilities to end notched. Right? Or however you say it, don't... Be mean to my pronunciation, but okay. So there's two possibilities here. I'm going by World at War here. So there's m Marines. So it's either they live or they die. And we seem to die a lot in the game. So and then that is going to end zombies. That's the end. Done. But if they live, then it moves on to. Right. Right. Need to move my finger from the lens there. So right. Where the where so the the minions not minions. What am I on about? The marines are now in right. So that's our second map in the story. And again, two things can happen. They can die, or they can live. Yeah. And that, if they die, zombies ends. Because I think Dempsey is one of the Marines before he lost his memory. Uh, before he was tested on whatever. That's just normal zombies law there. Do your research. Uh, so if they live, then Dempsey goes on to She No Numa. Right? Not wrong? <laughs> I'm probably wrong with all of this, but who cares? Which, which again, there's two possibilities. So, so they've all met up now. All of our, all of our amazing four. They live or die. So they die like normal, end. Uh, very messy drawn here, but hopefully you're with me still. Uh, so then if they live, they move on to... I don't know, I've got to make sure I'm, my phone's actually looking at it and I'm writing at the same time, so... The wreaths. Well, that's better if I turn the phone sideways. I'm a genius! Um, okay, so I'm going to put my mouse on there. So I can use that as a paperweight. So, okay. Derice. And then again. Die. Whoop. And then. Live. Whoop. And if they live. Kino. My font. My handwriting is like disgusting. I'm terribly sorry. I've got tons of pieces of paper around me. Uh, yeah. So we're at Kino now. Where again. Die. Whoop, and live. Right, this is where people usually get lost. Because in my opinion, if you look at, like, Ascension and Shangri-La, their clothing, like, completely changes. So what I think happens is when they live, somehow the teleporter malfunctions and they get sent to... Call of the Dead. Right. That's what I think happens after Kino. Usually people can be all over the place going, No, that's wrong! You're an idiot! And whatever. So, just bear with me here. Okay? This is just a theory, remember? So then they ask the others for help. And this is where shit gets mad, alright? So, the original four either escape once, or escape in a second way. But we're going to talk about that later. We're just going to do a normal escape. So pretend that's not there, okay? That's not there. Good. So it's just normal escape, right? So then they move on to paradise, which is... I'm going to have to... I'm running out of space here. <laughs> Crap. Um, I'll move over there, so... Boop. And then... Whoops. All of the collapsing. And then they move... Do -do 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 -do, to Shangri-La, my... my Fucking this up. 
Shangri-La. Sorry. Shangri-La. Well, we still have no idea what the focusing stone is, right? That's the end of the Easter egg. We get a focusing stone. Get. I'm just going to call it FS. So we get the focusing stone, right? Or. Which is our first sign of the cycle, the explorers, which we're, who are, we're, what we're helping, the explorers, I'm not actually looking at the piece of paper, I'm looking through the phone here, so it's, uh, and then they die, which means the map restarts, and you do the Easter egg over again, from that step. So if you, if you win, you get the focusing stone, which I think is how... They kind of used it to go back in time, right? And it reverts time all the way back up to Call of the Dead. Right? Making the entire Call of the Dead happen, the Easter egg happen again. But this time, I think if, if the Call of the Dead Easter egg happens wrong, somehow Escape 2 happens. And then they're sent over to. So I'm just going to draw a little line, that's a very big line, and they get sent to Moon. This is where the two main things happen here. So, either Richtofen or Sam. Crap! Uh, anyway, <laughs> Richtofen or Sam. Now this is a, if you complete the Easter egg and the Earth is destroyed and Tofen takes control, then transit, then die rise, fuck, die rise, oh f fuck, okay, die rise, and then buried. Where and then from there, we don't know whether depending on who you help. The world's either controlled or destroyed. That's the worst question mark I think I've ever done. But okay, so if Sam stays and you fail the Easter egg, then they escape to Ascension. I'm not sure if I'm spelling this right, but who cares? I'm not professional. So if that is the case, according to my theory, Ascension is on a completely different storyline to the rest of it, right? Ascension is completely off, which is right. And then, like, we help, like, these dregs to help, uh, I think it's Gersh. We help a scientist called Gersh, that's the worst writing ever. I can't write through phone. Um, so then that happens, and then we have absolutely no idea. And look, we have two question marks. We don't know what's going to happen after those. So that's my opinion. What I think might happen is after we help Gersh, somehow we get Origins. Now, this is where I kind of, it kind of turns less theory and more guesswork. I don't know how this is going to affect our game, but here we go, that is it. Our zombies theory, this is like my multi-cycle theory. Because if we look at my other one, which is more advanced, and whatever, with more choices and whatever, we've also got the, so that we're buried, if uh, Ritofen takes control or Maxis destroys the world, is that going to be series 4 zombies? And yeah, and I've got more cycles here, so if we like the explorers die, we'd start Shangri-La again. Or we'd go back to Call of Dead and do that again. So it's I think there's multiple cycles in this thing. That and Moon causes either like completely two different storylines. Which is odd. So that's just my theory. Cause just Ascension and Shangri-La seems so different they can't be you know, it can't go Ascension, Shangri-La, or Ascension, Call of the Dead, Shangri-La. I don't think that happens, because they're so, the, the original four are so beat up and bloody in there. 
in that map. So here's a simplified version. Here's one I made earlier. So there's Origins, Narch, Varak, Shinonuma, Darice, Kino, Call of the Dead. And then we move all the way over here to Moon. Where Nuketown happens at the same time. Moon, Transit, Diarise, Buried. And then also at the Call of the Dead, we can also go to Shangri-La, where, which is the wrong thing to do, where they go all the way back up to Call of the Dead. And if Moon, if the wrong thing happens, Moon. If the wrong thing happens there, then we go wee to Ascension, and then it goes all the way back up to Origins and starts again. So it's a huge, endless cycle. Apart from what we don't know what happens at the end of Buried, so we're just like, yeah, no. So that's that. I hope you all enjoyed. If actually anyone watches this, I spit out anyone will. But yeah, that is my theory. <laughs> Feel. Feel free to comment and say that I'm completely wrong with all of my information and whatever. So, yeah. Uh, see ya.